2023 will definitely be the biggest year ever for the Falcon Heavy. SpaceX can even double the number of launches of this behemoth from its inception until now within this period alone. More importantly, Falcon Heavy is on track to launch one of the most anticipated missions in this decade, the Psyche spacecraft. And to that, I say, game on. Let's find out more about all of this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Back in 2020, NASA awarded a contract to SpaceX for a launch of a mission to a large metallic asteroid on the company's Falcon Heavy rocket. The contract is valued at $117 million, which includes the launch itself and other mission-related costs. The Endeavor, known as the Psyche mission, was originally expected to lift off in 2022, but the launch window opened on on the 1st of August and closed on October 11th before the spacecraft's flight software was ready. During testing at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, engineers discovered a compatibility issue in the software's test bed simulators. The issue was corrected, but there wasn't enough time for a full checkout and launch in 2022. Fortunately, one year after NASA announced an indefinite delay of a much-anticipated mission to visit a metal-rich asteroid, the agency said Monday that the Psyche spacecraft is back on track. The Psyche mission is now scheduled to launch in four months on a Falcon Heavy rocket, and everyone involved in the project feels good about the date. We believe Psyche is on a positive course for an October 2023 launch, said Thomas Young, who chaired an independent review board that NASA convened last summer after the mission was delayed. Honestly, the path to having this contract for Falcon Heavy was also far from smooth sailing. At first, NASA awarded this launch contract to United Launch Alliance in January of 2019 for the launch of that mission on an Atlas V in October of 2021. SpaceX subsequently filed a protest with the Government Accountability office over that award, arguing that it could have launched the mission for significantly less than the $148.3 million value of the ULA contract. ULA argued that it provided schedule assurance needed for a mission that must launch in a 20-day window. SpaceX dropped the protest in April 2019, nearly two months after this was filed. Though, since then, SpaceX has enjoyed success winning NASA launch contracts. But now, in 2023, we are expecting a total of five Falcon Heavy launches, the most ever attempted by SpaceX. The former king of launchers, now dethroned by NASA's space launch system, is still the most powerful commercial rocket on the market until Starship comes online. It was first launched in 2018, showing off what it could do by throwing Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster in orbit around the sun, close to Mars's orbit. Since then, it has only launched five times, the most recent being in May of 2023. SpaceX was selected for 40% of the Space Force's National Security Space Launch Phase 2 contract, and the company began launching those missions on Falcon Heavies late last year. Next, you must be wondering, what's so special about the Psyche mission? Named after the Greek goddess of the soul, Psyche was discovered by Italian astronomer Annabelle de Gasparis on March 17th of 1852. The giant M-type asteroid is thought to be the partial core of a small planet that failed to fully form during the earliest days of our solar system. The metal-rich asteroid is about the size of Massachusetts and shaped somewhat like a potato, according to astronomers. Its average diameter is about 140 miles, or roughly the distance between Los Angeles and San Diego. The asteroid orbits between Mars and Jupiter at a distance ranging from 235 million to 300 million miles from the Sun. A study published by the Planetary Science Journal in 2020 suggests that Psyche is made almost entirely of iron and nickel. This metallic composition sets it apart from other asteroids that are usually composed of rock or ice, and could suggest it was originally part of a planetary core. That would not only represent a momentous discovery, it's key to Psyche's potential astronomical value. NASA scientist Lindy Elkins Tanton calculated that the iron in the asteroid alone could be worth as much as 10 quintillion dollars, which is a 20-figure sum. For context, the entire global economy is worth roughly $110 trillion as of writing. However, more recent research out of the University of Arizona suggests that the asteroid might not be as metallic or dense as we once thought. Psyche could actually be closer to a pile of rubble rather than an exposed planetary core, the research claims. If true, this would devalue the asteroid. 
NASA's upcoming mission should settle the debate about Psyche's composition once and for all. Of course, Psyche isn't the only valuable rock in space. NASA has previously said the belt of asteroids between Mars and Jupiter holds minerals with values equivalent to about $100 billion for every individual on Earth. Mining the precious metals within each asteroid and successfully getting them back down to Earth is the hard part. Then you have the whole supply and demand conundrum that could drive the price of specific metals up or down. We'll leave the complexities of space mining for another day. If Psyche is, in fact, the leftover core of a planet that never properly formed, it could reveal secrets about Earth's own core. The interior of terrestrial planets is normally hidden beneath the mantle and crust, but Psyche has no such outer layers. The asteroid's mantle and crust were likely stripped away by multiple violent collisions during our solar system's early formation. By examining Psyche, we can further understand how Earth's core came to be. The mission could also provide insights into the formation of our solar system System and the planetary systems around other stars. According to NASA, this marks humanity's first exploration of a world made largely of metal. The Psyche spacecraft will use special tools to identify the types of materials that make up the asteroid. For instance, is it actually iron and nickel? Or could it be made of something else? The craft will also measure Psyche's gravity and magnetic field and ascertain the asteroid's topography. All of this will tell us more about Psyche's formation history and evolution. Moving on, what is the Psyche spacecraft and how will it operate? Measuring 10 by 8 feet, Psyche is a little larger than a smart car. Instead of running on traditional rocket fuel, the spacecraft will produce its own solar energy. It's fitted with large solar panels, which make it as big as a tennis court once deployed, generating electricity to power the ion drive and the innovative new Hall thruster. Essentially, the electricity from the solar panels is used to convert the fuel source, which is xenon gas, to xenon ions that are expelled to provide thrust. Psyche will gradually build up speed using ion propulsion. The spacecraft will also swing past Mars for a gravitational push during its voyage to the asteroid. Additionally, Psyche will be equipped with an array of futuristic tech. The spacecraft will test out something called deep space optical communication, in which messages are encoded on photons or particles of light instead of radio waves. It could mean transmitting far more data back to Earth in a given amount of time. The craft will also feature a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer to identify the types of materials in Psyche, a magnometer to measure the asteroid's magnetic field, and a multispectral imager to capture high-resolution snaps of it. To top it off, Psyche will use radio waves to measure the asteroid's gravity. This, combined with maps of the asteroid's surface features, should give us some more intel about the asteroid's interior structure. If the mission does launch this fall, the spacecraft will reach the Psyche asteroid in August of 2029. There, it will go into orbit for 26 months to gain insights into planetary formation, to further understand the interior of terrestrial planets like Earth, and to examine a world that is made largely of metal. The mission is also of interest to the nascent asteroid mining community, which seeks to learn about the potential value harbored by these relatively rare metallic asteroids. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and we'll see you soon.